beautiful people my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel hope you're having an awesome day and today we are doing the easiest and most simple however the one I think is gonna turn out the prettiest of all of the flips that we're doing in this flip the crypt series of my new house if you saw the previous first episode it was this beautiful coffee bar and I'm really happy with how it came out especially the light fixture like beautiful but today we're tackling my favorite room in the house which is my bathroom. Now this house has four bathrooms in it. One we're gonna eventually gut, and then this one is like the primary downstairs bathroom, and I think it's absolutely precious. I deemed it my bathroom. My husband's not allowed to touch it, um, unless I give him permission because it's just so pretty. I want it for myself, and he likes a different one anyways. So today we're tackling my bathroom. It is beautiful already, but we're gonna do some small, small fixtures just to show you the before and after difference that small things, small tweaks can make to make a you know, a space still more personal to you and to what you like. Cause just cause something came with something does not mean that is the best option for it. So let me show you the bathroom before we get started with the renovation. So when you walk in to the bathroom, you see the box, the electrical box here. I want to cover that up. And then here is the bathroom itself. Now it's very small, but it's bright and white. I already changed the bulbs to a daylight bright bulb instead of shock white because it just gives you that extra something. We have a small built in here with this beautiful molding around it. We also have beautiful molding on the ceiling, which is so cute. So I love this little built in detail around this. I think it's really pretty. The thing I don't like is this tile. But since today's video is a simple renovation video, we're leaving this tile alone. I went ahead and put like some soap and a towel in here just so I could use it. We're gonna change this mirror out with one that I picked out from Home Goods that I'm in love with. We have a small built-in cabinet, which I don't like the handles on, but the cabinet itself is sturdy and cute. This sink also has like a little slope situation going on. This, if you watched the Get Ready With a video where I told you I hit my face and almost busted my eye open, it's on this shelf. I turned the water on and I turned my head back and clipped my eyeball on the shelf. And I don't like the silvery glass, so this is gonna go. We have a toilet, not very exciting. And we have this built-in cabinet, which I don't like um, because you already have this built-in for storage, open storage, and you also already have a mirror. So you don't need two. So when you walk in here, there's two mirrors, and I think that's weird. And then we have our shower with a beautiful shower head, and there's the tile that matches this tile. So. Obviously, I'm going to put the shower curtain up, put a rod up, change out the silver fixtures, the silver fixtures, keep the sink fixture just because I haven't bought that yet, <laughs> change the fixtures, everything. We're actually going to change this light to be gold and everything like that. So let's decorate and renovate this bathroom. Wow. Am I going to start filming in the bathroom floor because this lighting is amazing. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. So as you saw the last coffee bar video, I wanted to use these little starburst handles that look like this with these cute little like pulls. And we're gonna put them in here because they come in a four pack. I have two four packs of them. And we're gonna change out these knobs. Now I've already put a bunch of stuff in this drawer as like my regular everyday go-to situation. But I need the pretty knobs. Today's video will be a simple one. <laughs> But of course we're running to the issue already. So the screws that these came with are not long enough to go through our cabinet. And then the threading of these screws will work with these as well because they'll scrub, they'll screw into the front part. However, they're still not long enough because of how much space this adds, like both pieces together. So I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store and get different screws, like longer screws. Which, I've had enough time at the hardware store lately. I don't want to go back, but I guess we have to. Okay, I'm back. I went to Home Depot. I got the longer screws. I got two different types of longer screws that I think is the right size. I screwed it in the little sample thing on the wall in the hardware section. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to change the handles out to these really beautiful ones I'm excited to use. I'm glad this cabinet's already white. And then also Amazon delivered a gift from one of you guys. There was no note, so I don't know how to thank you personally. <sighs> I'm obsessed with these. They can pull, peel, they're peel and stick floor tiles. No grout, no special tools needed. This is the pattern. 
I'm obsessed. Like I was gonna do simple white and gold in here. But the fact that these arrived today out of nowhere kind of tells me I need this floor. Like this is probably the best floor in the house, in this bathroom. This is my special bathroom. So I think we're going to put these up there. We'll see. Okay, so here is a before and after of the knobs. Do we live? I think we live for them. These are just not it. Like, these are not it. Now, I did accidentally get pointy screws instead of the nubs that came with it, which means they're not very tight. Like, they wiggle, but I don't care. And just like that, our vanity is done. Isn't that cute? Yes, it took me a trip to Home Depot. But it's cute and also i was able to use the pre-existing screw flat nubbies for these so they're a little tighter than these are because the star will spin but it's cute regardless now this bathroom three out of four bathrooms in this house do not have toilet paper holders so toilet paper sits on the sink you know so i bought this from amazon i'll leave a link down below everything i use that i know how to link i will link I bought gold ones. I bought a gold bathroom set. Now, Amazon's been iffy lately, so, you know, I'd order this twice to get it once. But it's slightly darker gold than on our cabinet uh, drawer pulls. I don't think it's going to matter, though. happens when you do a landlord painting. Okay, so unrelated to the video at hand, but I just got the mail. I had two gifts, including those floor tiles, earlier this week. And I just got one of these beautiful ceiling covers that go, you know, you can put a chandelier or something under here. I thought those are so beautiful detailing. I thought these were so pretty. I've always wanted one. Well, had no note, and neither did this. Look, look how pretty. Look how beautiful. It's a weather vane. It has another layer under here of like the directionary things. Thank you guys so much. It's so beautiful. It's so, it's truly so beautiful. Thank you guys. Um, it's just so unique and so my aesthetic. I know I technically picked it out, but just surprises like this. I've had a rough day. Um, thank you.
So unfortunately, we weren't able to put the floors in. I went ahead and cut a piece around the door frame and everything, which is dirty. I need to be clean, but the floor, especially in the entry way, is lower than the floor in the rest of the bathroom. Like it dips and then goes up. So it doesn't lay exactly flat. So I'm not able to do these tiles right now. Maybe in a like part two video, we will knock these tiles out and put this over top of like the concrete slab underneath. But as of right now, I can't put these in without there being a weird dipped in gap. All right, so now when you come in the hallway, you have this big mirror under the chandelier instead of that electrical box, which you might be able to see a baby bit of the corners at the top, but when you look at it, you don't see an electrical box, which is a much better improvement. And then when you come into the bathroom, here is the finished results. So we have the beautiful star knobs on the cabinet, which are such a better improvement. I do want to do a couple things later on, but I just can't afford to do at the moment. Like change this to a gold faucet. We have our light fixture, which now I don't have a middle bulb because it's already really bright in here. I only have a gold fixture that matches this mirror. This may be the second mirror of the exact same mirror that I bought for this video, but it's beautiful. On the counter here, we have my ghost coconut mint drop soap a little planchette to match our fortune picture, a black and white heart towel that was a dollar from Walmart, a gold hook ring. I didn't stage this. <laughs> um, on the toilet, I just put a plant just for a little bit of different color in here and I didn't want to over the toilet since the pushy things are on the top with a gold <laughs> handle for a toilet paper. Not an exciting thing, but I'm super excited that's not sitting on the counter anymore, which is nice. A push top toilet uh, trash can so you can't see everything inside of it. We out we updated the outlet to a new GFI, I think it's called. Outlet that's supposed to be safe near water and stuff. I put this gold picture up here. This picture may be replaced in the future. But it looks good <laughs> for now, you know? And then we have this black and white striped shower curtain. And then I painted our original towel rod gold, but I didn't put a towel in here yet. We will do the floors and change the faucet in a future video. But as for right now, the before and after this room is pretty outstanding. I'm very happy with how it came out. I'm not happy with how long it took, but I'm glad it's the way it is now. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is my favorite room in the house right now. It's just so pretty. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. And check out my shop, theopencrypt.com, link down below.